Welcome back, rock stars, to another episode here in the Newbies Pixmon. We're gonna be training up another legendary, so let's dive right into it. If you guys missed the last couple episodes, make sure you go check those out because you guys probably don't know that we got Lugia. Now, we did not catch Lugia. I did buy him off the GTS because I was just... I had a lot of money and I was really bored looking for my Mew one day and I was like, screw it, we're gonna buy Lugia. So, now I wanna EV train this guy. See, the problem with Lugia, though, is it has a solid percentage of IVs, 78%, which, indecent overall. Now, I'm pretty sure Lugia is a special attacker, so his special attack only being 18 is horrible but his speed's really good lower def attack up defense doesn't really matter but it's so expensive to change anything because it's 300 tokens just to change his nature so we're not going to be changing his nature or iv stats overall for a while but he does come with a pretty solid iv set so all we should be able to do is ev train him and then over time we can really improve him now in reality i don't know i think Liga naturally spawns at level 70 and not level 50 like the other like the birds and stuff or whatever so i think this is just the moveset he came with i like recover air blast is pretty decent overall even though it has only five accuracy but i'm pretty sure since he's a special attacker dragon rush isn't going to do much for us whatsoever we'll see if he learns anything as we keep moving forward and he levels up but i don't know all right so for ev training is going to be really simple we just take some special attack lens and we take a speed bracelet and it should be quite easy just to go ahead and get this eye completely trained up without any issues whatsoever and the best part about him being level 70 is i don't need another pokemon to train him like at all i don't have to worry about leveling him up so we can actually fight i don't have to worry about when we level him he's gonna be too weak against the blissies it's just gonna be really 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 nice overall so this is gonna be awesome so speed and special attack training is gonna be easy though the question that we have is what gym do we want to try to take on with our brand new found lugia when we get him fully trained that's gonna be the real question and who knows it, look i love lugia's design is just beautiful i love it it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous and i can't help it it's just really really clean i love it so much in comparison to some other the designs and what i get that you know you know you're trying to be different and everything but some designs of pokemon are just ridiculous like trash burg whatever that pokemon is just a trash bag like in reality like like come on like because pokemon is supposed to be aliens right that's kind of like the, the main theory or whatever because of clefairies from early days of pokemon so whether that's true or not but if it's true that doesn't make much sense for Trash Bora, so that means that the humans naturally made a Pokemon that wasn't Mewtwo, because obviously Mewtwo's man-made, but that means Trash Bora has to be man-made too, because he's only alive because he's trash from a radioactive plant spill or something like that, so I don't understand it all. And don't even get me started on Chandelure. I love Chandelure. A ghost fire type, it's sick in reality, but oh my god, it's just a chandelier, or let alone Clef Key. It's just a ring of keys, people. Like, come on. You can do better than that, Pokemon. Well, I was so quick to go ahead and get our special attack all the way up to 252 we're already at 68 speed as well so we're literally just gonna like fly through this this is kind of insane so if we do this it's 16 per plus whatever vigorock gives me so we should get like 18 from this alone it's insane so this should be 78 70 80 like 86 for our evs now yeah 88 that's literally insane you just get so much like i wish it was always like could, could we have this in regular pokemon please like come on because this is just insane how much easier it makes this. I could have swore it's only supposed to be four extra EV yields. Maybe it's the server change. Maybe it's the Pixelmon mod. Who knows? But I ain't going to complain. We are already at 226 for our EVs for speed. This is this is legit just insane. Literally nuts arena and insane arena. I think this is the second to last Pokemon I'll need. So we're going to battle Pidgeot and let's battle this Pachurisu. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come here. Dragon Rush. Bye-bye Pachurisu. Oh, it had quick attack. So, oh well. No, bye-bye. And that should, I think, max us out on our EVs. Yes, we do. Perfect. 252 in each stat. So now Lugia is beautiful like diamonds in the sky. So one thing we do have to remember, though, is Lugia is above level 55. So since because he comes in at level 70, that means we can only take on the level 100 gyms. So we have more options, but they're going to be a lot more difficult. Now, in reality, training Lugia is actually going to be really difficult because not only is he a legendary, so his overall EXP curve and gain is so much slower than everyone else's. But it's just the fact that, you know, level 70 is kind of the hard point when getting to move forward into, like, the actual leveling portion. That's when it really, really just hits hard to actually be able to get anything really done. So, it's definitely going to be interesting for sure, but hopefully we can do this. And I, you know, probably going against the boss was not our best move to start off the bat, I 
with, but I mean, hey, it's working out. Oh no, Autumn is gonna do this. We're just gonna switch out and use Salamence. It's it's not even worth it. You're still gonna get the XP. Outrage, let's go. It's just more powerful. There we go. Come on, Outrage. You can finish off the boss, Autumn. Come on. There you go. You're so close. One more Outrage. There you go. Come on. Come on. Outrage. There we go. Finish you off. Beautiful. I'll take the rare candy. I don't care about the room service. And I really just want to see how we're gonna do. I mean, we have Dragon Rush, I guess, but how, what's Aero Blast do? Aero Blast does basically 70%. I will take that considering it's a special attack on a Blissey. So it's just gonna be a little hard considering we only have two moves to actually train with. So we're gonna have to do a lot of just healing. Well, there we go. Level 72. We learned Hydro Pump. Bye bye, Whirlwind. I will gladly take Hydro Pump. Not my favorite move overall. I really like Hydro Pump a lot. It's just very similar to Aero Blast. One of those high damaging moves, low PPs, low accuracy. So it's just one of those that I'd like to have maybe one of, but I usually don't try to rock too many of them. So I, I probably have to decide between Aero Blast and Hydro Pump. But Aero Blast is super good and Stab Ball. Hydro Pump isn't because Lugia should be Water Psychic. That's that uh, it should be Water Psychic, not Psychic Flying. And I'm going to stick by that for the rest of my life. Finally, a Psychic type move. It's not Psychic. It's Future Sight, which I'll replace over Hydro Pump because Aero Blast is at least Stab and it's got slightly more accuracy than Hydro Pump. So I think that overall it's just the smart choice. So, but we're getting really, really close to our level 100. I'm hoping we can learn Psychic. I don't know if we're just past that level or anything. I'll probably research it very, very here soon because I'm tired of just, I gotta figure out something. The one thing I do not like about this server, and I do really, really enjoy this server, but something that I think Poke Saga, um, a joint server, because I think they, they, they're owned by the same company based off the way it's set up, is it's straight up just, it's more prevalent to get moves and TMs, which were super helpful. I don't have that availability as often on this, it seems like, so it's not as bad, but it could be a whole lot worse overall, but it's just super hard to figure out these moves, and with Lugia having all of this just set the way it is, I don't know if we're gonna get any more moves on him. I don't have any teams at home that he can actually learn, which makes it extremely difficult, and he's only got 18 levels left, so I really don't see him learning too many more moves. Alright, so Lugia is now officially level 100, which is sick. Now, we did replace Dragon Rush with Sky Attack because it's the same thing as Aero Blast, except for it's physical, more powerful, and it's a two-turn move. Basically, it's just a better Dragon Rush, and it's Stab for us. It's got more power. It's it's just overall a better choice. I like the move set completely. I just wish I could replace Future Sight with Psychic, and I'd feel a lot better. Recover's all right. Right, but I usually end up usually getting one shot so it feels like those types of moves I usually don't go for because you're either one shot or you're not gonna live enough HP and heal so you might as well just attack all right rockstars I say we take on the fire type gym now this is gonna be interesting we've come close to beating this gym but not ever 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 able to beat it so let's go ahead and get into it all right rockstars let's take on this fire type gym and let's see what we can do so now I originally had Sylveon on my team but I've switched out for Umbreon just because I think Umbreon's more tanky and I think that's kind of a uh, something that we should keep with so let's go dark pulse against this torque you know 12 percent of damage that's all right i guess i mean that is 12 percent right no that's 22 percent damage i really can't do math today hey let's just keep it up another 22 percent damage now he switched out to blaziken interesting for sure that's because he's super effective on me i know that so the best move technically that we should make would be switching out to salamence because of our flying typing that rock really really hurt though if we can get rid of this right away though with outrage that'd be really key we just lost salamence that's gonna screw us over big and i mean big time like that's actually really 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 bad for us let's send out vaporeon here and let's go hydro pump and he switched out to volcarona that's a free hydro pump but we missed it they avoided it hydro pump again and come on and how much is this really gonna do don't you dare miss a second one that's almost half damage that's all right let's go water pulse next and oh my god i wish i hadn't gone water pulse holy crap hydro pump we're dead but I can't do anything about that. Jeez, that's just kind of insane. Okay, Mega Tyranitar, you're just gonna have to pull in some big moves here. Come on, Rock Slide, I need you to pull through. I'm trying to save Lugia to the end because I know there's a Volcanian coming up next, and I think we're gonna need that Lugia for that Volcanian because it's just DFE Colt. Let's see what we can do here, though. And Giga Drain, that hurt a lot, but we are more powerful than you are, which is beautiful. So we have a few options here, and this is gonna be really, really bad for us no matter what we do. I can leave him with Mega Tyranitar, but he will automatically be killed. I could also switch to Jolteon. There's a good chance he'll be killed. Umbreon will definitely be killed. And then Lugia could resist. Actually, you know, we're going to Lugia. Lugia has recovered. As long as we can hit the hit, and we do. Beautiful and awesome. Let's go ahead and hit recover up, because I expected the switch, which is what I wanted. And I, I don't know if they're going to switch again, but in case they do, let's just set up a future site right now. And that hurt a lot, so we're going to hit recover next. I'm trying to get sky attack off is what I want to do, but future site is such a key. Sky attack, let's go. We can avoid the attack. That hurt a lot. This is a two-turn move. 
and we flinched. Great, so let's recover, and okay, there we go, beautiful. That's substitute, and are we done future side damage, so let's go ahead and throw another future side out there. Flamethrower isn't gonna do much to us. We can just keep recovering, though, so that's a great thing. We can use future sight and recover. It's a great combination. The burn effect really, really actually messes with that, though. Come on, future sight, there we go and we took the damage away from the substitute which is the worst part about that future site and i'm kind of stuck in a rotation now i need to get a future site off i hope i live i have to get future sight mm, i was so close okay recover let's go and we're gonna be on the down spiral here and i gotta just hope that future sight crits or something come on okay future sight did great we outspeed right so let's just go air blast now perfect that finishes him off Okay, next up is Rotom. Let's go recover here. Let's get some HP back. And whoo, interesting. He switched out. Let's go Aeroblast. We outsped. That finishes off Blaziken. We're doing great. Ooh, we are in big trouble. Let's go and recover here. If I get one more Future Sight set up and one more attack in, which I'm actually not going to be able to, great. Okay, let's go Sky Attack. Come on. There we go. That's a little damage. We should have went with Aeroblast. Can we live? Yes, we do. Let's go Aeroblast then. Beautiful. That takes down the Torkoal, leaving, I don't know what's left. So we're going to bring in Umbreon. The Rotom. Interesting. Let's go Dark Pulse here. He sent out the Mega Charizard, which we did solid damage to. And I don't think Mega Charizard's going to be able to do too much to Umbreon. We're just, we're a big tank. We literally are. He, he oh wait, Mega Charizard's X physical attack, isn't he? So that means he's probably going to go for a physical move, which we are a special tank. He used Flare Blitz. He's going to take some recoil damage though, which I will gladly take. Boom. Now we just send in Jolteon here. We go, do, yeah, we're going to go Giga Ball Havoc guaranteed the kill because I'm not, risking, I'm not risking the discharge not being enough. Boom, and Rotom. Let's go Thunder Wave. Let's just make sure that he's slower. And, oh, wait, we can't because he's Electric Fire. I forget about that. Okay, let's go Discharge. Let's do some damage on him. And, yeah, we took that pretty well. Rotom, this is going to hurt. If we live, we're fine. But if we don't, we're screwed. So, Rock Slide. And he poisoned us. Yes, Rock Slide. Come on, please tell me that was the last Pokemon. And we defeated the NPC Fire Type Gym Leader. And I honestly don't think we could have done that without Lugia. Lugia's Aero Blast and Sky Attack came in so key. Let me know what Legendary we should work on training next or what pokemon you guys think we should add to the team next and i'll see you guys all next time rockstars like and subscribe if you haven't already and peace peace